Hey there viewers, it's Charlie on back again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on... Revenge of the Fallen Rampage. And let's just say I'm not looking forward to this one. I mean, sure, this guy's got a cool looking vehicle mode, but... His robot modes get kind of weird, but we'll get there when we get there. But well, as we can see, Rampage here is a bulldozer, not unlike a certain Decepticon who likes crushing bones. And this guy is not a part of Devastator, that's actually meant to be Skipjack. And in the movie, Rampage was actually red, whereas Skipjack was yellow, like like this figure, which is yellow. So, if you want, you could repurpose this guy as Skipjack, which I like to do. So, but for the purposes uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna call him Rampage. Yeah, they did the same thing with Sca uh, with Scavenger slash Demolisher, even though the toy was called Demolisher. The actual colours were more scavengers colours. Same here. While this toy is called Rampage, it's more Skipjack's colours. Yeah, so... It's confusing. But, let's have a look at the actual vehicle mode. Well, as, as I said, it's a bulldozer. Uh, got the... There's a little bit in the back, and sadly, I can't really get them level. Just because this the transformation is pretty um, weird, weird than this guy. We have the big plow. Got these pistons here. Got the cab with some translucent red plastic. We have some bolder detailing here. The, the treads unfortunately don't move, but we do have these little wheels here. And there's no uh, undercarriage junk, thankfully. And well, that's pretty much all I, I have to say. This is a pretty simple vehicle mode. Now that is a, a red recolor of this guy, which is more accurate to the movie, so I, I might get that one day and just dis display this guy in his vehicle mode. You'll see why I'm, I, I want to do that when we get to the transformation. So, I don't think I have any other bulldozer transformers in my collection. I mean, it's hard to keep track of all my figures right now, so... I can't think of any of a bulldozer transformers in my collection right now, so let's just get to the transformation. And this guy's technically a triple changer, but it's because he has two robot modes. We're gonna get to the more movie accurate robot mode first. So, to do that, we're going to come under here, split the, un uh, unplug the, these bits and the treads, and that just, and move, move apart the, the plow. Now, this does come up, apart really easily, it's just in a little hinge, so, I think it's easier just to take this bit off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll transform this bit last. <clears throat> this is when my throat stops working. Uh, the pistons just flop loose, as you can see. That is intentional. Fold the treads up. Uh, fold this down. Like so. Oh, 
open this up and fold the entire cab section up spin this at the waist As you can see here we have the head, but first spin the pistons around pretty much. Oh I don't have to write it. There we go. Now the arms transform in a really unique way. Spin around the hand. Come in here with the treads that locate the bit where it comes off. And just un just feed it through if you can. Oh, almost. It's caught on something. There we go. And feed it through the hand. So this actually becomes a whip. I am not joking. And fold that little bit up. And unfortunately, on this side. Well, look. Well, if I could just transform it. Do you see that? This bit's broken off, so. If I just flip around the, this actual bit where it would be um, attached to. Around the hand. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do for this is a little old friend of mine. You may have seen it in another video for figure for broken bit, but blue tack. So just maybe not, not that much, but just get a tiny bit. Stick it on there if I can. And mold it around so it stays. This is going to be my temporary fix because I am hoping to get super glue one day just to amend this problem. But ignoring the broken off bit with the blue tack, just bend these little knee bits. And with this piston section, try and get that plugged. And if you can, it's easier to do this up close so you can actually see what you're doing. Because this is a bit tricky to do. But thankfully, I actually have managed... Oh, no, I've just unplugged it again. Okay, to avoid me rambling on and on while nothing's on the camera, I'm going to pause until I get it. And okay, I've managed to not only add some more blue tack so it stays on a bit more securely for this bit, but get this plugged in, because here we have the jackhammer mode. For the shovel, I'll put this on last, because I want to show you a gimmick that this guy's got, because, well, he doesn't stand too well on his own, but... Here's a gimmick. If you press them down, then well, I'll do it like this. He's supposed to do this. <laughs> I guess it's like so you can jump around. It can be fun, but it's a little bit uh, odd. <laughs> now, to get the shovel attached, what we're going to do is fold this little uh, section up. 
take this section, move it around like so. And just fold it up into a little cuboid. And if I can just attach this off screen. Okay now, so we've got this entire bit on the back. And it, it does slot into two little pegs there. But yeah, that's pretty much the jackhammer mode. If you want to le stand him, he, he has to lean like this. So he has to lean upwards, which is a bit too awkward for me. So I don't display him in jackhammer mode. What I do is I display him in his other mode. Seeing how I have fears of this coming off, let's just re remove this and put this back on. We'll get to the other mode, shall we? Yeah, I really do want to get some super glue to, to get that on. But if we just untab the piston section from this, uh, it's not coming off. Okay, there we go, it managed. Pretty much just fold it around like so. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if that's going to stay in place, but that's how I have it. Yeah, you can have it a few different ways. I don't know what the intended way is, so I just keep it like this. Yeah, your your mileage may vary, so just give me a minute. This guy's starting to get on my nerves. Just because he, he's on camera, so just give me a moment to adjust this. Okay, that might untab by itself, knowing this figure, but it's good enough right now. So next up. Split the legs. There we go. And b believe it or not, we're actually almost done. Pretty much all the thing to do now is transform the backpack. Because you are going to need this to support uh, this robot mode. So just... Transform and display it out, however you wish. But yeah, its main purpose is to actually keep support of the robot. However, yeah, as you can see, the hinge can be can become quite weak, so you actually have to sort of split this out. You see, it's it's only misbehaving because I'm on camera. Okay, and I finally managed to get him standing. It turns out that if this bit's not plugged in, then the hinge just flops around a bit. Here we have Rampage in his standard robot mode, I guess. And I guess from the front, it looks fine. But if you turn around... Look. You see that? He's got these extra legs. <laughs> Coupled with the claws. It's like some weird crab monster. Crab people, crab people. Taste like crab, talk like people. <laughs> but yeah, this is rather odd, but... I guess the 
the Constructicons were not meant to be, like, humanoid looking, if you remember. Like, if you remember the faces, like, for example, looking at this guy's face. Yeah, I'm too scared to hold him too, too close to the camera in case bits start falling off, so I'm just gonna hold my camera towards his face. That's not really humanoid looking, is it? So yeah, the weird extra legs, the non-humanoid face, the claws. I mean, it's cool, but it also comes out as a bit creepy. I mean, Julie bet that the Julie transformation that the Jack Hammer legs do is just splitting apart, so we don't have any feet. I guess one thing that's cool is the treads do form whips, but it can be a bit of a pain trying to thread them back through for the transformation. And especially if you have a bit that's broken off, like uh, my figure, it can be extra difficult, so. Yeah. When it comes to, your, to, to the art, uh, 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 See, I can't even speak now. When it comes to the articulation, I'm not even going to sh like show it. I'm just going to say what he has. Well, the head, I'm pretty sure it doesn't move at all. The arms can move, so they can uh, rotate. I think he does have a... Well, I'll, I'll do it uh, with this arm. Uh, nope. Uh, I, I could have sworn that he could have had, like, a, a forward uh, movement because of the transformation, but no, I'm pretty sure I, I'm mistaken. It looks like he could possibly T-pose, I'm not sure. I'm too, I'm too scared to try it. Well. Well, he actually can, so at least I've managed... And for his front legs, I guess, they're a bit limited. So, I mean, I guess he could technically do the split, but I'm not attempting that. And the back legs can be adjusted to however you see fit, but it's mainly just for, like, adjusting how he stands. Yeah, this figure, I'm not a fan of this figure. Oh. I mean, the way, the weird way that it transforms, the weird mo robot modes, the fact that he needs all this back stuff to help him stand, and the fact that on my copy this bit's broken, so transforming him is, e is even harder. Those are my complaints. Plus, this bit can be a bit hard to, to tab in, so, if at all, I've just got this sting where it is, because I don't know how that tabs in, and if it does. So, those are my complaints, so. Do I recommend this figure? What do you think? No. I mean, if you want to complete the mainline Constructicons from Revenge of the Fallen, so that'll be uh, Demolisher, Long Haul, Mixed Master, and Rampage, then... Maybe, I don't know, go ahead, but if you want to complete the Revenge of the Fallen toy line or just want to co collect the Constructicons from Revenge of the Fallen, then okay, but maybe either go for the Legends figure or the Studio Series figure, which, keep in mind, has the more movie-accurate reds. Uh, you see, I just I can't speak. I'm just. Well, this has been my review on Revenge of the Fallen Rampage. And this is Charlie Young signing off. And at least I don't have to touch this figure again for quite a while.